I wanted to install a magnetic drain plug into the gearbox of my scooter, but when I looked around for magnetic drain plugs in this size, which is a 8 millimeter by 1.25, I found that other than one from uh, Taiwan that was about seven bucks that took a month or so to get here, most were something like twenty dollars and I really didn't want to pay that to have one in a reasonable amount of time. So what I did is I picked up ten of these three sixteenths by one sixteenth magnets, neodymium rare earth magnets, uh, on eBay and ten of them cost me basically five dollars with shipping. So if it works out I'll have enough little magnets there hopefully to make myself 10 drain plug bolts if I want to. I chose these 3 16 magnets specifically for the 8 millimeter bolts because uh, if you measure the 8 millimeter bolt it's really a little under 7 millimeters the uh, the section without threads cutting into it and then the 3 16 inch magnet is a little shy of 5 millimeters so that gives me a bit of clearance around there not a whole lot but when you're working with small bolts like this you know you're not going to have a whole lot of room to spare so I thought that was maybe my best compromise of a decent sized magnet and still leaving a little bit of meat on the bolt. I have heard some people say that creating a magnetic drain plug is as simple as finding a magnet and then sticking it on to the end of the bolt and since it's magnetic it'll hold itself there and it's possible that that may work but I personally wouldn't trust that very much. What I plan to do is to drill a hole in the end of the bolt and I'll drill that deep enough that at least half of the magnet can recess in there or I may decide to go deep enough that the magnet can sort of sit flush with the top of the bolt. Then I'll use some epoxy and secure the magnet inside of the bolt. It's probably hard to see in the camera especially with the lighting but what I've done is to make a couple of crisscross marks across the end of the bolt with a marker and then I measured to find exact center each way and there's a marking in there from a exacto knife to show me exactly where dead center is and then once I know where that is I'm going to use the center punch and make an indentation right in the exact center there hopefully you can see there's an indentation right in the center of the end of the bolt and that's what I'll use to start my drilling then what I did was I set my drill press up so that I can drill in the very center of this bolt if you don't have a drill press you could put the head of the bolt in a vise and try to drill as straight as possible and as carefully as possible but you're at a little more risk of messing something up just using a vise versus a drill press. In this case I'll be using an 11 64th drill bit which is just smaller than a 3 16 I can always drill larger if needed obviously you can't drill smaller later so start off slightly smaller than you think you need in this case 11 64th to drill a 3 16 inch hole. I'm just gonna put a drop of oil on here uh, to lubricate this while it cuts and then I'll go ahead and start drilling hopefully you can see that I've got the center of that bolt drilled a little bit I believe enough that my magnet will sit down in there pretty well so I'm going to go ahead and set that up in my vise now so I can start to epoxy the magnet into place. I don't think it would be a good idea to try and install the magnet for a test fit if you're going to use epoxy because it may be kind of difficult to get the magnet out of there. I'm not really sure but I have a feeling it would be difficult to get it back out of there so I would wait on that and try to take measurements to verify what you're looking for rather than trying to test fit a magnet. Now I'm just going to mix up a tiny bit of JB Weld or you can use whatever epoxy you prefer Now I'll get a little bit of JB Weld onto something I can easily spread it with. In this case I'm just using a broken up plastic fork and I'll get some JB Weld down into the bottom of that hole that I just drilled. Now 
I'm going to take the magnet and try to get it to go straight into there, which may take a bit of effort. I also have a brass hammer handy. Brass because the magnet won't stick to it. Because the hole I drilled was a little smaller, I was hoping for sort of an interference fit or a press fit. So if I need to, I can tap it into place. So I'll go ahead and try to get that into there straight, which is not really working that well. And it doesn't quite fit how I'd like it. So I'm gonna see if I can tap it to get it to go down into there. All right. So now I've tapped it into place. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the excess JB weld that's trying to come out onto the threads. So now all I've got to do is give it 24 hours for the JB weld to cure or maybe a little extra time. Obviously follow the directions of whatever epoxy you're using. And then hopefully it should be good to go at that point.